Hello everybody and welcome back to Spellweaver. So, kind of continuing with the uh, theme of a uh, month worth of tournaments, we have a free roll today. We're gonna start in 40 seconds. Wow, one time I'm not late for the tournament. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, I, I, I really got ahead of time here to make sure everything is pre uh, prepped and working. Though we were close to missing um, one person. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we like got the the uh, fifth player in like last last minute. Literally last minute. And we go. Oh, so uh, yeah, I should have mentioned I think I kinda forgot. I have taken the um undead power deck. Dragon. The fuck me. Really? Really? Like, oh my god, what insanity this. He deals how much? Up to two enemy creatures on the front line. Okay. Too bad I didn't have the um, Flash Sculptor on. Although then he will redirect the um, Fireball into the uh, Sculptor rather than the uh, Apparent Ghoul. Ah, that thing. Hmm. That is um, kinda bad. Well, I guess I could just slow it down. Oh, thank, thank God for the uh, Nephros' hero ability. Um, the next time an enemy creature dies this turn, summon a zombie legioner. So I guess I'll do this. Gain one. Oh shit! I don't have enough levels. Crap. Well, I haven't played corruption in a while. It's like I've been I've been playing mostly for the sake of of doing stuff quickly. Well, he will take the damage. So, that's that's pretty expensive, honestly. No, wait. How, how much does it cost? Pay up to three. Berg deals that much damage to up to two enemy creatures on the front line. Wait, Berg deals that much... Oh, okay. So he can deal up to three damage to up to two creatures. I was I was pretty sure that he can do uh, two damage to two creatures and that it's set. I wasn't wasn't really aware of, uh, of uh, how. Um... Wow. Oh crap. Vultures, ladies and gentlemen, vultures it is. Um, okay, I guess? Huh. Yeah, I'll make him DC a little bit. Um, uh, I'm torn apart, I don't know if I want to, um, Sculptor or, um, Spirit. Although I think I'll go for a spirit, make him DC something. I mean, he lost one dragon due to my um, vultures, which is pretty good. Oh, great. Um, Altar of Dragons. And his fire blasting. Dan should have played the Flush Sculptor. That would have definitely been annoying for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty positive that would have been annoying. Wow. Like, right now he's annoying to me. I mean, if I could grab the tombs, which are hidden god knows where, for uh, something along the lines of... Come on. Something along the lines of me, I guess. Um, oh, one that Hydra. Mm, that's interesting, although... 
I think... Uh, maths, maths. Uh, this deals two, this deals two. This costs one, this costs four total. I'm good. I mean, he will feel that. That's four damage. Um, well, he still like four cards. Ah. <sighs> And that's a fourth level, so I expect dragons coming very, very soon, which is bad. Uh, what are my possible ways to remove a dragon with this deck? Um, none. How quickly are the dragons? Three? I think they are three speed, so like even, even slowing it down by one won't really help me. Um... Mini crap. Um, there is it. Yeah, it's three speed. So even even slowing it down by one won't help me. Wonder why he decided to block my abilities. Oh, that's why. Um. With Massive Assault, it is 5 damage, I believe? No, 4 damage. Um, I don't want to do this, but I need to work on the, uh, on the mana curve. And oh my god. No, I guess I'll, I'll threaten him with the Hydra. Actually, no. Should have gone for the Undead Necromancer, because then if he would target the other Legionnaire, um, he would be taking damage. I mean, he would be losing the um, Rocky. Yeah, right now he obviously won't lose Rocky, because... Um, I mean, he can, he can clear one of my zombies without losing Rocky. If I had made all my zombies um, deadly... Is it really worth it? Really? Is it? Damn, really should have put the Undead Necromancer there. Honestly, I, I, I don't really know why the devs decided to do it this way. Where they, um... Damn, that's pretty bad. Um, yeah, that, that Undead Necromancer is deadly and has that all other zombies are deadly. I mean... He could have just as well had uh, all zombies are deadly, and that would work as well. Yeah, this is awful. Like without the um, without the uh, undead necromancer, these rotting remains were like worthless. He fireballed it, didn't he? Or what? Did he? No, he used the um, hero ability. Well, I am pretty much fucked right now. How much is the dragon for? Yeah, does it take... Really? Really? 
Wow. Yeah, um, so basically, yeah, let me let me tell you what happens right now. It's his next turn. He uses one shrine to go to eight. He uses um, fire twice to blow my face. I'm down to five health. He declares um, Dragon and Raki for a total of um, eight plus two, which is ten damage, and I'm dead. Oh, bloody brilliant. Even better. I'm still surprised he... Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was saying that I'm surprised he's not using the uh, dragon's ability. But he just, he just waited with it till um, he can declare an attack. I think I finished a quest. Yup, I did. <laughs> One rare card get reward. Enchanted Spring, really? I mean, what is it with uh, Academy and Enchanted Springs? The previous quest I had on Academy was... Um... Well, honestly, I don't remember what the, what the task was, but definitely it was um... rewarding... Uh... The fun deck. Yeah. Uh, wait, this is this is the other guy. Uh, I cannot. Oh, he got a he got a buy. I cannot uh, blah, 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 stalk him. Well, I have some chance of getting a buy the next round. It's deadly against creatures of evil. Uh... And why is that? You're not blocking the spirit? I would block the spirit. Yeah. Well, Rags is playing uh, Green Vermilion. Well, very green, judging by his levels. Um... Is it equal to his corruption or no? It's it's three flat. It doesn't change. Yeah, very very green Hermillion, judging by the levels. <laughs> Dude, what? No, really, like, dude, what? I mean, uh, why would you do that? I mean, Soul Prison? Really? Like... No, I, I, I don't understand. N yeah, because now he's got a cooldown on the Soul Prison, and if he would uh, keep it, he could use the Soul Prison now and freely get rid of the uh, Namir. That's a nice deck, honestly. Oh, he's getting rid of Namir this way. Which is kind of sort of a waste of a good cannonade. I mean, it's like in a worst case scenario, cannonade deals like 5 damage. If, if played like... Yeah. This is this is pretty much what I meant. He played a second one. Yes, he did. <sighs> one life for each player priest you control. Okay, and another dragon fire. Use hero ability to claim him. Use hero ability to claim him. Use hero ability to claim him. Unless you have a better use for it. Well, he still has three cards. Nope, he's using it. Yeah, and the succubus goes back. Yeah, 
I mean, it's like I have some some sort of an arbitrary distrust to cards that um, do something based on the number of top cards of your deck, and if I remember correctly, uh, that's how the passageway works. Yeah, top five cards of your deck. It's like I'm always surprised how comes people are so successful with these uh, molten passageway draws. <laughs> Dude, what? No way. I'm gonna I'm gonna get wrecked again. This is this is not a guy I, I have any chance against. Well, this is three rounds, so I kinda got a feeling like I'm I'm really curious why it didn't match me with uh rags. I mean probably because it puts the um distributing a buy like as the priority thing. So it first looks for the people who need to give who who need to be buyed because of course it would be ridiculous if it would buy someone who already has a point while there are people who have no points at all. Although it's like uh Well no, I guess if I lose now I'll get the buy the next round and that will be like the end of the tournament. I think I wanted to address something else. The last quest I had on the academy gave me the um, the green shrine in shiny, the um, enchanted spring in shiny. I think I, I didn't end it last time. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't end my my thought. I mean, honestly, it looks like Sky Guy should get another buy. <laughs> yeah, Sasaka should fight uh, Dark Br, and 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 Rags should be fighting me. This is like the only fair way I see it. Well, if I'd win now, whom will I face next? I guess probably the loser between Dark Sky Guy and Sas which probably will be well, I will be facing Sky Guy uh, and Sky Guy or Rugs if I won now. If I lose now, I'm 99% sure I'm getting a Dragon. I'm getting by. That's not a better draw, is it? Um, crap. Uh, you know what? All in all, while shrines are important, in most cases, I would favor the. Uh, um, I would favor any low shrine draw over the uh, High Shrine draw. When Death Curse Shaman dies. I'm, I'm curious how it works, honestly. Ha! Ah, he cannot target me. Yeah, I'm too fast. Although with uh, more more important creatures in play, losing them to Death Curse Shaman would be a bummer. Although I don't know which triggers first. I mean, it's melee, so it, they theoretically trigger both at the same time. Ah, whatever, it's free roll, why do I care? At least I will have confirmation if he can choose the um, Death Curse uh, Shaman's ability to target my zombie, and yes, he can. For a second I was like, wait, did, did, did he like do nothing? But no, it's just the, the way the, the summoned creatures die. He's like, kinda weird, and... Uh, they die in a weird way. Well, at least we have a confirmation there. He discarded a shrine. So you see, this is this is what I'm talking about: the um, high shrine draws versus low shrine draws. Like drawing no shrines is pretty much a bummer. Although you can always try and do for more shrines. If you have a handful of shrines, and even if you use the shrines to uh, gain mana and draw cards, 
if they oh crap it's my turn it's like <laughs> I didn't realize it's it's um, already my 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 time to end his turn uh, it's already my time to end the turn not not his turn it's already his time to start his turn you can always do to get more shrines while you know drawing shrines doesn't necessarily grant you more um Bummer. Um. Why do I run Spoils of War in this deck? Like, for a second I was like, Spoils of War? And Chained Souls? Wait, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've, I'm, I'm playing the uh, Undead Power here. Not the, um, uh, not the Dark Souls. Yeah, I was expecting that. What else did you expect? Well, I could try DOing it right away, or I could just, you know, screw it. You know, if, uh, in any case, I will happen to get, um, okay. Um, three things die in a turn, then, you know, it, it would make some sense, I guess. While in this case... Well... Um... I'm thinking if I want to Nox Fumes that thing. Let me Zombie Giant and one mana one card. That's even more interesting. Crap. Okay, I will do that. It's like the next turn with a little bit of luck, I could get the uh, oh, fireball. Bloody brilliant! The next turn with a little bit of luck, I could get the um, second remains and undead necromancer at the same time, which will will prove very useful. That thing again, my god. Well... He might still have fireballs. Whenever another non-summoned creature you control... You control, okay. And it's it's minus two minus two, so it will wreck my flesh sculptor before it can do anything. Um My remains are susceptible to the attack from that thing. Well undead necromancer is like <sighs> crap. Well, that's not too good either. I guess I'll do that. Yeah, he will most likely use it to get rid of my rotting remains. Which I'll just counter by dropping new rotting remains. I am totally not satisfied with how it's going, but... Well, this is what you get when your entire build relies on uh, one card that you have only one copy of. And that is a huge bummer.
Really? Really? You know what I'll do? I'll infect this survivor. You cannot block. I'll attack. To just deal any damage to them. Yeah, I mean, right now it's more of an equal trade between me and the, um... Between the Rotting Remains and the Great Bezerok. Um... And the Spirit? Well, I'm out of slowing down now, which kinda sucks. Hmm. Yeah, of course, Advanced Nephoros. What else? Oh dear. Oh great. Miss Dio. Well, if he drops another stupid spirit, I'm out of cards and I'm as good as um um resigning. Ah, oh, great. Bottle scarred. Bottle scarred elder. Bezarok goes boom, and I have reanimate, which I could use to reanimate nothing. Uh, okay, how about I'll deal that reanimate to draw a mesmerizing spirit? Not bad. Yeah, he might still have stupid fireballs in hand, which I am aware of, and which I am afraid of. Cannonade. Awesome. Wow. And he's gonna use his stupid ability to get the uh, Undead Necromancer back. Um, how much damage is it? Six? And I have no cards. I mean, I guess I could wait for my next draw, but I'm pretty sure that I'm done. It's like I have nothing to do. Mesmerizing spirit! Yay! I am dead the next turn. Oh, I am so dead the next turn. Like, he's got a perfect 7 damage here. Well, I can try and block it. Although, yeah, he might have um, fireballs, he might have uh, Bezarok, he might have whatever else. Uh, I guess I'll stop this. It's like I'm not killing this one anyway. This one is dying anyway, and this one is dealing the most. Joy card, most attack. Okay. Yeah, I was just making sure that it doesn't do anything stupid when it kills a creature. I think he missed a Dio. Because he's at zero cards. Oh, great, a Flesh Sculptor! Like, <laughs> fuck me. Really? Wow. Um, wow. I could try Dioing the Flesh Sculptor, but what for? I mean... <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Um, theoretically, an infected survivor might help. Yeah, might. Just might. And here goes my tombs. Um, <laughs> Zombie Legion or GG. Wow. Awful. Uh, is it better than Flesh Sculptor? No, it's equally bad. I mean, the thing is, it cannot block anything with Flesh Sculptor. Um, with Flesh Sculptor, he would be um, 
targeting the first sculptor with Undead Necromancer and dealing the lethal blow with Battle Scarred Elder. While uh, you have a buy in the current round, and this is this is the last round of the game, so I have uh, I have a buy for the last round of the game. Which means I'm getting my um, 4k gold total and 100 fame, which is not that bad. <laughs> oh well. Interactive Spellweaver lol. What would be a swear word? I don't understand what you're talking about, Sky Guy, but whatever. Um, yeah, I, I will... I will um, stalk the Sky Guy, because I'm really curious what he is playing as this um, fun deck. I definitely had fun with my deck. It's like, uh, it's really relieving to play Corruption. It's like, I haven't played Corruption in a long time. Because recently I've been mostly playing the, um... Uh, what is it called? I've been playing the, uh, Rage just for the sake of, of speed. For it's much quicker. And... Yeah. And I still feel like I really like Corruption. So that 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 was that was nice to get back to corruption. I should, well, I should definitely get back to corruption. I should try. Wait, I still don't have more than one tombs. That sucks. I guess I could try and burn some shrines into tombs. Although tombs are pretty rare, so they take like a lot of. Um... Ooh, that's a fancy card back. That's a really fancy one. The tombs are pretty much high rarity. They are either gold or blue, um, rare or epic. Yeah, that's, that's what the blue is called, epic. Um, thus, they require a hell load of shrines. It's like, you know, burning some shrines into hands because I needed them is okay, since hands are, what, uncommon? So... What is it? Like, uh, 10 shrines to make, if I remember correctly? While, um, rares are 50 and epics are 150 respectively, so, yeah, no, 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 that's, that's, that's not good. Actually, this is not how I should say that. Is it? I think I shouldn't say respectively in, in, in that situation. If I said r r rares and epics are 50 and 150 respectively, that would work. But if I have listed them so obviously, is it, is it even working? Well, Silver Fang, that's good. Trigon deck not getting Trigons in the hand, that must be annoying. I mean, I mean, first draw. Hmm. Well, he can't do much. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, yeah. The um, collateral damage. Well, you might use it to block the... Uh... Yeah. And that's what Drax is doing. He's blocking the... Uh, um, Tortured Orc with the Silver Fang. Yeah, Tortured Orc. And since Silver Fang is uh, deadly versus the creatures of evil... Like a perfect counter. Goblin Anarchist engages in combat, distribute two damage among other creatures you control at the end of combat. Okay, that's interesting. So you do it at the end of combat, and. Huh. That's interesting. Actually, if you would plan your combat in a way where you would. Um... Uh, where you would lose, I mean, where you will end up with no creatures left, aside from the, um, from the Anarchist. 
What will Rags do? Rags, will you get rid of the Anarchist or will you pursue... Yeah, you pursue attacking. You know what, I'd say this is a uh, very AI thing to do. I have never ever seen an AI use Elf Scouts for anything else but attacking face. Like, they hardly even block with it. Well, it's 2 damage, so it won't kill the... Um, it won't kill Raki. Oh, crap! Yes, you do have to kill Raki. I just realized this, that you basically have to kill Raki. I mean, if you would decide not to go for it... Wow, it gets the, tar um, the Might Emblem before it's dealt the damage. This is insane. Oh my god, honestly. Well, technically you deal this damage after combat, so... At the end of combat. And the um, and Rocky gets his um, whatever it is called whenever he is damaged, not uh, not like at some time in combat. So I'm really curious who would be getting the buy if I had won my um, game, actually. Well, no, I am the only one with zero points. But the thing was that Dark BR was already at one point. I guess it would be Rags. Although no, Rags won his previous duel against whoever it was. Damn, I have no idea. I mean, the buys are really sketchy. Let's get back to Sky Guy versus Rags because um, why not? Oh my God. That's a lot of things. Really? That thing? I mean, out of all the things you could have gotten rid of, you do that thing? Okay, will you get rid of the goblin or not? This is what I'm asking. Which is, really, why, why would you get rid of that? I mean, Gobo can bro block and Gobo is like solid to attack. Unless you will be using your uh, hero ability, does it heal people? Does it heal? Uh... Oh my god! Yeah, Hermelion's ability heals the creatures. I think he was at only one mana though. Since the Elf Scout, yeah. But it's like, I, I, would, I would love to um, see some confirmation about it, but it really seems like um, using Herm's ability on the, um, on the Moonlight Patrol that has been energy boosted would not remove the energy boost, and if that's the case, that would be insane. Well, move to your deploy phase. But it's not like end the turn and start another, it's move to deploy phase. Um, this, this, this part, move to deploy phase, is important because... Um, yeah, uh, you, you would end in re reinforce phase, and in reinforce phase you cannot attack anymore. Even if you would, um, if you would, whatever it is called, un, unexhaust the creatures, you'd ready, even if you'd have the creatures readied, you wouldn't be able to attack with them for the second time if you wouldn't be back to the um, deploy phase. 
Well, she's ranged. That's a bummer. Is she perma ranged or no? She's perma ranged. She's not conditionally ranged. Deal damage to the enemy hero for the first time each turn plus one. Sacrifice Fia. Fia deals damage equal to her energy to an enemy creature or hero. Hmm. I like the art on her. That's a that's a nice card art. Is she available as a card back? Might even might even want her as a card back. It has like a crown over the S. Or maybe not. Mm, yeah, I'm Fia, I guess. The problem with the elf scouts is that they are insanely slow, uh, insanely weak. Yeah, they, they are. They are not slow. They are like the opposite of the slow. They are the fastest creature in the game. I still don't fully understand why Rags is not getting rid of the gobbles. Well, technically, yeah. Um, Rage can flood gobbles like insanely with four four gobbles in hand plus four gibbles and ronnies. That is like a total of um eight plus four twelve yeah, twelve goblins. And it's like I'm not mentioning like the, the special goblins like the uh, firebrand, the um artifact sacrificer dude. And whatever. Do I have the firebrand goblins? I mean, the question should be how many firebrand goblins do I have, and how likely am I to build the uh, the goblin deck with that? It's like I'm pretty sure I have full full set of Gibbo and Ronnies. Which is indeed four copies with, I think, at least two um, two foils. Damn. Can you go for it? Not quite. Let me count it. It is six, um, seven damage. Am I right? Yeah, it's seven damage. And if you'd use the hero ability, you can double it up to be five more tops. Which is still not quite enough to kill them, while Sky Guy has a total eight damage in a face. Ah, ha, ha, that's it. Um, I guess two of the scouts, and I think I would go for the CFC. No, w why that? Dude, you ain't winning that. You are still one damage short, and your opponent is blowing your face the next turn. Rugs, come on, are you fucking kidding me? Really? Really? Rugs! Rugs, what the fuck? Wow, that's so awful. Rugs, you're dumb. No offense, mate, but you're dumb. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Ah, uh, well, Firebrand, uh... So even if you take care of um, Gibo and Ronnie and uh, one lizard, he basically gets to the to the same spot. But why why didn't you? I mean, yeah, the best idea, 
would have been to ready the um, um, ready two scouts and either CFC or the ferry and get rid of the uh, of the Gibo and Ronnie and one of the lizards. I mean, that's, that's at least that's my opinion. I mean, of course, as I said, with the uh, Firebrand, it would be nothing. Really nothing, because... things. I mean, it's like... You know, those are things you might have or might not have to face the... Um, um uh firebrand first to third wow you know what with with five people in a tournament it really sucks not to get the uh not to get the uh not to get in top 3 yeah versus sky guy I don't know. Really, seeing seeing him play today, I don't. I don't I'm not sure. What, I'm not 100 sure if I could have done it. Yeah, against both Sasuga and uh, Dark BR. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that was really like um, winnable for me. Okay. Honestly, not with this deck, not not with not against those people, against um, prizes, no uh, results against Sky Guy. Seeing how he played, I I would struggle. I mean, he would flood me unless I had a good draw. Which, to be honest, I mean, yeah, Undead Power is still sort of an aggro deck. So theoretically, with a decent draw, I might have been able to do something. And no offense, Rugs, but seeing how Rugs played today, oh my god. I mean, I would struggle again because he will be like insanely, um, insanely faster than me. But um, well, whatever. But I mean, I mean, Rugs, Rugs has been failing so much. I have four firebrands. Hmm... Wait, is that a goblin? Damn, it is. Well, I don't have a full set of goblin looters. But except for that one, I basically have like a full set of goblins. Dang. Plus one, plus one for each other goblin. You may play Gurku under the creature control, might emblem on the... Wow! Whoa. Finally, I have an idea for a deck building! That's a new one. I mean, I've been so out of ideas for the past God knows how long. Hmm... One less to a minimum of one. Every play one of those creatures. Oh. Although this is like, uh... yeah. Still, I I have a deck idea. That's that's extraordinary. Uh, luckily, we won't be going for it uh, for deck building today. Well, we are in less than the uh, less than an hour so far. Well, if I want to play Ramgakan, I need the um, I need two red levels with uh, uh, one different, which would kind of work. Although, yeah. Well, if I wanted to go for the. Um, 
nature. I'm, I'm looking for like worthwhile nature cards that require two or more nature levels. I mean, not more, precisely two nature levels. And nothing different but nature. Mm. Well, there is Life Force Incarnate, there is Fae of Charm. And there is uh, Elgaron, the Eternal. That's interesting. That that's something I should I should um, analyze more in depth. Um, so we have Fay of Charm, ready an enemy creature. Ooh, stupefy that creature for the duration of the combat, and it attacks its com. Ooh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Whenever you declare an attack, does it mean that I have to declare an attack with Fae of Charm? Or does it mean any attack I... Oh. Any attack I declare with Fae of Charm um, on board? This is like what I'm asking. And life force, um, number of creatures you control. Make it to two? Well, four levels is like awfully high for an aggro deck. I mean, like, the, the whole idea behind an, an aggro deck is that you invest a lot into mana. So you can turn that mana, well, well basically, yeah, turn mana into uh, damage. Usually through the form of creatures, but sometimes also through the, um, through the spells. Like, let's say Fireball, which is like the perfect face damage now. Hmm, nature creature with a mana cost two or less, and put it into your hand. Shuffle Call of Jalia into your deck. Wonderful, so you can use it indefinitely. Veggie Blockade? Earthquake? Hmm, what is that thing? That is weird. Put a non-fairy creature with mana cost equal or less to the number of fairies you control from your hand onto the field. You know, it theoretically works with gobos. What is the, the, the other green gobo do? Green gobo, green gobo. Um, you may play Gurko Tribe Shaman under a creature you control to put a Might Emblem on that creature. When that creature leaves the field, return Gurko Tribe Shaman onto the field. Okay. That's interesting. The thing is, can anything viable be done with it? <laughs> what are the odds? That, yeah, like, uh, in, 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 in a week from today. Yeah. So even, even, even less than a week, uh, since I, uh, I post the video. Because of course I'm I'm recording it earlier. I mean you can you can go and check how often the free rolls are conducted, how often free roll free rolls at two thirty happen, and and you will see when I'm recording this video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is only one day that it happens like that, maybe two. Wait, the second might be Thursday. Oh well, whatever. Uh, yeah, but I, I wonder what are the odds someone will post a um, red-green goblin list on, on the forums now. Just like with the Banshees. I was like, yeah, I, I, I think I said it before, I don't really want to um, claim that I am the one who invented the uh, Banshee OTH deck. Because my idea of going Banshee Swarm was more into dealing damage 
Although this is, uh, this is like something that is deeply in my mindset regarding CCGs, like that in order to win a CCG you have to kill your opponent, and in order to kill your opponent you have to have a lot of either a lot of creatures or a decent amount of um, big bodies. Creatures with high attack, high HP. Yeah, which actually for Spellweaver is massively not true, because in Spellweaver, yeah, you can play fucking no creatures and win the game, because the OTH, uh, Word of Grace. What is the, actually, what is the, um, what is the nature's word? Word of Vigor. Select a creature for each of your nature levels. Those creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Ah. Oh. I'm not interested satisfied with it. I mean, plus one, plus one. Although, on the other hand... Nah. Well, I guess I, I'd, I'd prefer it to be... Um, well, maybe for one creature. Hmm. Crap, no. Well... Well, I, w I, was, I was about to suppose that I would like to see it as a blessing. So you, you'd have to attach it to one card. To one creature. And it will, um, it will um, scale with the uh, with the nature's level rather than being flat plus one plus one. I mean, realistically, you know, plus three plus three, or you know, worst case scenario plus four plus four, but those aren't not are not happening. I mean, how often do you see mono decks going with uh, more than uh, a, a four of their respective aspect? I mean, more than three of their respective aspect. I mean, okay, sometimes it happens, rarely, but it does. Although I don't think there is any card that requires three or more um, aspect specific levels. Yeah, like, you see, two aspect-specific, one generic. Um, two aspect-specific, one generic. Two aspect-specific, two generic. Again, two, 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 one, two, one. One, two. Well, we've just been at nature, but let's check it once again to make 100% sure no, it's not happening. Um, yeah, see, two, two. Even something as stupid as Elder Red Dragon doesn't require three uh, rage levels, which it should. That thing is OP on so many levels. Yeah, even Phoenix doesn't require three uh, rage levels. Which, to be perfectly honest, makes less sense than Dragon requiring three rage levels, if you ask me, but whatever. Kata requires only two levels. Kata requires only two levels. Oh, really? But it's expensive. Yeah, two, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two. Wow. Does it mean... Yeah. If you're not going Skata or... Um, Karthas, you can basically give up the idea of uh, uh, going with the... Uh, more than one Dominion level. Because Dominion is not really using... Well, wait, there are, there are yeah, cards that have flat too. My bad, never mind. Although there is not too many of those, like Enslave and, and Helm of Dominion, and is that all? Yeah, because everything else is uh, Dominion generic. Oh, and Kata, of course. Why is, why is that put in this way? I was pretty sure that they are uh, put in order like um, generic levels, specific levels, mana. Like like this is this is the order of sorting the cards. Maybe it is not. Do I have anything to confirm that? 
Well, these are all specific level, then... Uh, yeah, we switch to specific generic. Then we should have two specific. Yeah, two specific. Oh, and again, specific generic, so not necessarily. I think it just looks at the um, amount of levels required and the cost. It, it doesn't it doesn't care whether these are generic levels or Oh, Bezarok. So Bezarok is probably like the only card in the entire game. Yes, it's definitely the only card because this is the last aspect. So Bezarok is like the only card in the entire game that requires you to draw three um, three specific levels. Which is dumb. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not counting the um, heroics, but... Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, but I cannot just select heroics. That sucks. Uh, and Azeris is like the only heroic that requires three levels, which is insane. Although she is insane. And out of all the heroics, I have two Rygons. Wow, I'd, lo I'd love to see a worthwhile deck with this guy. <laughs> Challenge? Well, shall we, shall we have a deck building next week, then? Well, I'll try to make something useful out of the... Um, yeah, the, the um, red-green goblins, which I kind of feel like maybe merging with fairies. I would kind of like to play it on the uh, advanced Niva. Because... Um, what was she actually doing? She was doing something good. The next three creatures you play this turn cost one less to a minimum of one. Well... Let me browse the gobbles. Gobbles are, generally speaking, cheap, aren't they? Well, this is one, two, one, two, 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 three, two, two, three, three, three. Hmm. Give me this advanced Niva again. The next three creatures you play this turn cost one less to a minimum of one. And you have to pay two for this. You know what? That sucks. I mean, essentially that saves you one mana if you have three levels and you can play three creatures. I wonder how it reacts to um, Gibbo and Ronnie. Although... Uh, yeah, I think the Ronnie is summoned, not played. Let me see. When Gibbo and Ronnie enters the field, summon a goblin warrior. So when, when Gibbo enters the field, he summons Ronnie. So Ronnie is not played, so it won't affect the second card. Which is okay, because it will be ultra dumb if you would play this and it would use up like two charges out of three that you can have. No, this is dumb, really. I mean... Oh wait, but you draw a card whenever you play one of those creatures. Well, that is something. Well... Yeah, I... You know what? I would change her. I would change her to being able to... Uh, Use it on more creatures, but draw less cards. Like, like I would, I would give a draw a card as a uh, passive effect of that thing, or maybe make it cheap. Well, yeah, like, like uh, the next creature, all creatures you play this turn cost one less to a minimum of one. Draw a card. I think that's how I'd put it. And considering all the factors like cooldown time, the cost of the skill, 
the level requirements of the skill because honestly for three uh, levels two of those have to be green I mean if it was uh, one nature to generic then mm, I guess although still not necessarily well actually making it work on her that would be insane Yes, it would. Although I definitely should start, I, I definitely should build something else. Uh, yeah, because honestly, it's like I I think I'm getting fed up with with aggro. Because I've I've started losing on hard AIs against uh, with 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 rage aggro, which has like never happened before. And I'm like, yeah, I think I, I I just played way too much with this. I don't know. I kind of feel like getting back to um, to corruption because I like corruption, like refining the undead power into proper zombie. No, I don't have tombs. God damn it! I keep forgetting. But that would be nice. Um, I don't know really don't know. Well, the matter of fact is, like, I, I still had no idea what to do the next week, because technically we have exhausted the, um, the month worth of, uh, of tourneys, although it was, like, the, uh, switched tourney. Uh, switched month. Like, yeah, we started half month through, we'll end half month through. Although actually I'm looking at the calendar right now and it seems like the August this year is pretty extraordinary having five uh five Thursdays. It's pretty nice. How many Thursdays did we have in July? I don't know. I mean those are the longest months, those are the, 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 the thirty one days long ones. Couldn't we stuck like the 13th month, if we shave all the months to be 28 mo uh, days long. Which makes sense, because they would be like 4 weeks flat. I have no idea actually how many um, surplus days we have. Oh well, first of all, there is only um, 11 months that have the uh, too much uh, days. Like, except for the... Uh, February every four years, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> I guess I guess it can't really be fixed in, in any other way. I don't know. Yeah, it's like I was I was really thinking about it yesterday. Like prepping for this video, sort of. Yeah, prepping for this video. I was I was literally sitting there and going through the entire tournament list and looking, okay, what tournaments are there before Thursday in an hours where I could record them? Because of course I, I'm not gonna record like uh, 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 tournaments that are like 4:30 a.m. I mean, honestly, what the? F I do sometimes stay up that late, but not always. And yeah, it's like I just I just happen to not live alone. Okay, so it's like I don't. I don't necessarily want to wake up every other person in the house recording a video, which actually might be a case. I mean, even if I shut my 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 uh, my door, I speak fairly loud. <clears throat> Guess I could speak more quietly. Well, that would be problematic if I'd start raging on the camera. <clears throat> well, uh, anyway, uh, I was saying... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, that I was totally out of ideas, so maybe building a deck next week is not that bad idea. Like, honestly, it's like I... I... I kinda have like three projects waiting right now for, for the pretty cool videos to do. Although they are like all on hold because it's like um one of those videos I, I already spoiled it a little bit um is is uh waiting for the um 
for the uh, what is called is waiting for the mobile release and I, yeah, I think I mentioned uh, that I have a cool video that I will love to drop somewhere around the mobile release and I think I said it what was it somewhere around the end of July end of June er early July late June I think somewhere around there I think I just kind of teased that I have this cool video that I plan to drop around the uh, mobile release but that was still because it's like back in the days I think it was somewhere like late April er early May where Ifco posted on the forums that they are really going heavy on the on the um, on the mobile release and the mobile release will be soon and I was really expecting the mobile release to come out somewhere around um what is it called um you know yeah somewhere in the August like early to late August okay which is essentially like entire August but it's like I was I was hoping that it will it will uh, be done somewhere in the middle of the summer which is like you know early early August late um late July although then I realized that you know they might have some problems with it and it would be still good if it will show up like late August and it's like, yeah, I'm making the video saying that I have an idea for a video that I will drop uh, around the mobile release. And then uh, a couple of days later, Ifko is on the forums and he's like, yeah, you know what? We have the updates on the um, uh, mobile release. Expect it in October. And I'm like, great. So this goes on hold. Then I came up with another idea, although it's like, <laughs> well, to to put it to put it shortly, it's like I, I I fail at my own idea. It's like I cannot do the thing properly, so it's like I'm I'm struggling with it, insanely, to make anything usable out of it. And I just I just fail on so many levels that it's it's horrible. I cannot make it work. Although if I ever get it to work, that will be fun. And also I had the third idea, but it's like, I figured out it would kinda need uh, developers involvement. And to be honest, um, well, I'd say 70-80% sure that if I'd ask Ifco about it, they should be fairly positive and 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 ifco would be would be willing to to help with this project because that is something that i cannot do without the uh, developers help um yeah but but um that would be nice although yeah well ifco well first of all the entire dev team is is, is on vacation right now and I'm just making sure that they won't be back when this video comes up, and I don't think it will. So, yeah, if if I'll decide to, to, to do it, and I'll ask Ifco to help, and Ifco will be willing to help, then I don't really think it will be any sooner than by the very end of October. Uh, which essentially leaves me in the best case scenario with like two more weeks to to fill something in if we'd get the um, deck building the next week then there will be like one more week and hopefully on the 31st the very last day of uh, August we'd have that thing that will be cool um, yeah, but it's like, right now I am stuck. Okay, like, keep in mind that even if you have stuff deleted and it went to your freaking trash can, it still takes some disk space on the computer. And apparently it can pile up. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I ran out of disk space because I, I had way too much stuff in the, in the, in the trash can. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, where was I? Hmm... <clears throat> I was at saying that, uh, uh, um, oh yeah, that I'm basically stuck right now, 
because um, yeah, Ifka is gone, and and well, they they cannot help. Although let's face it, even if I'd message Ifko about that thing, well, he's busy doing the uh, mobile version. So even when they when they come back from the uh, from their vacation, it doesn't necessarily mean that he'll have time to help. Which kind of sucks. Kind of. Anyway, yeah, I guess that will be enough... Uh, enough teasing for today, okay? I know I said only very vague things, but it's fine. That was intended. That's what teasing is about. You say vague stuff. So, yeah, I don't think I will answer any questions regarding these projects. But with that said, uh, yeah. I think I've been rambling for definitely way too long today, so that will be it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, like, subscribe, um, share, leave a comment. If you're already subscribed, there is this uh, fancy bell icon on YouTube. Uh, implemented a while back actually but only uh, fairly recently it became like ultra popular for for everyone to say that you have to press this bell to get notified press it now or else or else you'll be you might be missing on some videos because YouTube's is weird and sometimes YouTube's algorithms won't show you the videos you want to watch even though you are subscribed to the um, channel that is dropping those videos. Anyway, yeah, whatever. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Take care.